Welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. Hi friends, how are you doing? I am MBV Mohit Sharma and today I am going to share a video on hypothesis testing. I already have a video on hypothesis testing on my YouTube channel, but I have received so many requests that I should make an elaborate video on the same. In this video, I will first talk about the hypothesis tests and then I will show you their working in Minitab 19. In any project, there could be only three types of data. With data, I mean your project Y. And these three types could be, your Y could be continuous and normal, your Y could be continuous and non-normal, and the third one is your Y could be discrete. When the Y is continuous and normal and X is discrete, we use one-way ANOVA test. Another possibility here is that the Y is continuous and X is also continuous. Then we use simple linear regression test. Let us go to Minitab and see how these tests are performed. For my first example, I have data in column C1, C2 and C3. In C1, I have call time, which is a project Y. And X data is on associate, which is discrete. And the second X is hold time, which is a continuous X. The first step is to check the normality of Y data. For that, we go to stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. Enter call time under variables and click OK. You will get this kind of a graph. In this graph, the p-value of 0.143 suggests that it is normal. So when your y is normal and your x is discrete, we will use one-way ANOVA test. And to do that, we go to STAT, ANOVA and one-way. In this session window, in response, you enter call time and in the factor, you enter associate. And then you click OK. The p-value of 0, 0.000 suggests that the associate is a significant x. As the p-value should be less than 0 0.05 and in this case it is equal to 0, 0.000 suggests that the associate is a significant x. Further analysis can be done with the Minitab output in which associate CD is taking more time to resolve customer queries on the call. So we need to focus more on associate CD. The second x is hold time which is a continuous x so we will use simple linear regression and in this case we will use fitted line plot to find out r square adjusted values and regression equation for that we will go to stat regression and fitted line plot in response y we enter the call time and in the predictor x we enter the hold time r square adjusted value of 91.6 percent is greater than 65 percent which indicate that the hold time is impacting the call time. The positive slope of the regression line also shows that as hold time increases, the call time also increases. So in order to control the call time, you need to control your hold time on the call. This is the regression equation in which cycle time is equal to 2.996 plus 15.01 into hold time. So I hope you would have understood which hypothesis test to run when project Y is continuous and normal. Let's move to the second example. In the second example, cycle time is project Y and the branch in which the loans are processed is a discrete X. The first step is to check the normality of Y data. For that, we will again go to stat, basic statistics and graphical summary. Enter the cycle time under variables and click OK. The p-value of less than 0.05 suggests that Y is non-normal. So when your y is non-normal and your x is discrete, then we use Moods median test. For that, we go to STAT, non-parametric test and Moods median test. In response, enter cycle time and in factor, enter branch and click OK. P-value of less than 0.05 suggests that branch is also a significant contributor to loan cycle time. If you look at the medians, Kalka branch is taking more than 7 days and CP branch is taking less than a day. It means some work can be done in Kalka branch to reduce the cycle time. The second X is break time which is a continuous X. So when your Y is continuous and X is continuous, we use simple linear regression. The normality of your Y is not dependent on this particular test. So whether the Y is normal or non-normal, we use simple linear regression test. For that, we will again use the fitted line plot under regression. We will go to stat, regression and fitted line plot. 
in response enter cycle time and in predictor enter break time R-square adjusted value of greater than 65% suggests that there is a positive correlation between the loan cycle time and the break time. So we can consider this model. I hope it is clear to you that when Y is continuous and non-normal, which all hypothesis tests are to be performed. Let's move to the third example where your Y is discrete and X is also discrete. And the test that we are going to use is called chi-square test. In this example, the number of defects is a discrete y, which is in column C9, and associate is a discrete x, which is in column C10. And to perform a chi-square test, we will go to stat, tables, and chi-square test for association. In rows, enter defects, and in columns, enter associate, and then click OK. P-value of less than 0.05 suggests that the associate is a significant x. Associate M is creating more defects than expected. Expected number of defects are 5.909 and M is creating 10 defects. So to improve the process, we can work on associate M. Friends, I hope you would have understood that which hypothesis test is to be performed when Y is discrete and your X is also discrete. So friends, let us summarize this again. We first check whether the y is continuous and normal or non-normal. So when we found out that y is continuous and normal and we have x which is discrete and has two or more than two variables, we used one-way ANOVA test. The normality of the y can be checked by graphical summary test in which the p-value should be greater than 0.05. The second part of this example was when our y is continuous and normal and our x was also continuous. Here we used simple linear regression. In simple linear regression, we check the R square adjusted value, which should be greater than 65% to say that the x is significant. In the next example, the first thing that we checked is the normality of y data. And then we found out that it was non-normal and our x has two or more than two variables and it was discrete. So we used Moots median test. In this example, the second X is continuous. So Y was continuous and X is also continuous. So we used simple linear regression test. In the last example, when our Y was discrete and our X was also discrete, so we used chi-square test. Here we checked the p-value and the p-value was less than 0.05, suggested that it is a significant X. Friends, I am very confident that you would have found this video useful. Please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in another important and educative video pretty soon. Till then, take care. Bye.